Hey guys, welcome back to the video. My name is Tarshil. I'm a freelance data engineer and a YouTuber. In this video, we will be talking about one of the most important project for data engineering career. If you are someone who wants to learn data engineering on Google Cloud Platform, then this project you can do to learn multiple services or data services available on GCP. The project is called as a building data pipeline using Dataflow Apache Beam Python. So there are many different things we will be understanding. There are many different services we will be understanding in this project. Let's get started. First of all, let's understand why we are using GCP on the first place. Now, mainly there are three cloud providers you will be dealing a lot as a data engineer one is amazon web services aws second is microsoft azure and third is gcp now each of these cloud providers have their own advantages and disadvantages so in the case of gcp they also have many different services available that you can use to build a data pipeline now what do we mean by data pipeline now data is coming from the multiple sources so if you understand the etl pipeline we have extract transform and then load we have data coming from the multiple sources. It is coming from the sensor data. It is coming from the RDBMS, web analytics, surveys, and many more. So what we do, we extract all of this data and get this data onto some kind of storage location. Then we apply the transformation on top of it. Transformation can be anything. It can be like applying business logic on top of it. If you have, if you want to join two columns, if you want to create the new column, if you want to delete some column, this is what we call as a transformation. And then loading that data onto some kind of data warehouse such as BigQuery, Snowflake, Redshift, or it can be loading data onto some storage such as Amazon S3 or GCP storage or Microsoft Azure Blob. So this is what we call as the basics of data pipeline. We have data coming from one source and then we transform that data and put that data onto some target location so the tech stack we'll be using is language python now python is one of the highly used languages as a data engineer generally you have three choice scala python and java so if you are a beginner you can start with the python then the services we'll be using is google storage dataflow apache beam bigquery sdk google cloud sdk and the pubsub now we'll understand about each of these services in a little bit detail and then you can explore them by yourself by reading the documentation and subscribing to the project pro if you want to do this project so let's go one by one and understand the services now first is the google cloud storage cloud storage is a service that allows users to store their data on google cloud okay so if you want to store any type of data you can easily store it on the cloud storage an object is an immutable piece of data that consists of file in any format objects can be stored in container known as a bucket all the buckets are related to a project and the user may organize their project into organization so in gcp we have multiple structures so if you want to store your data onto google cloud storage you have to create something called as a bucket bucket contains all of these objects so whenever you store any data onto google cloud storage it is considered as an object now though every bucket you create it is assigned onto project level so we have the organization then we have the projects and then you can create multiple buckets inside that particular project after starting a project user may create a google cloud storage bucket and upload things to the bucket and get objects users can also give rights to make data accessible to certain domains for specific use cases so if you have some kind of static website and if you want to host it you can also do it on the google cloud storage so the general use case of the google cloud storage is basically you can store any data and the cost for storing all of this data is very low so if you want to store the large amount of data for the longer period of time you can use google cloud storage read those data if you want to transform it and then store that data again onto google cloud storage or some kind of target location then we have the bigquery now bigquery is one of the highly used services on the google cloud because as an organization you want to understand your data and analyze it and bigquery provides that google bigquery is a cloud data warehouse provided by google which is serverless highly scalable and cost effective design for making data driven business decisions quickly now serverless means you don't have to manage your server by yourself generally uh, if you have been using working with the redshift or on-premise data warehouses you have to manage the hardware sometimes you have to manage the cluster when you create it on the redshift and make sure it scales properly and have all of those settings now in the case of google bigquery you don't have to manage all of those things so if you are running the large query it will automatically scale all of those servers and if you are running the small query it will assign the only the necessary slots it requires you don't have to worry about scaling or making sure your servers are running properly it will be taken care by google only it offers both batch and stream insertion capabilities and integrated with the tensorflow to perform machine learning using sql one of the most powerful powerful data warehouse available on the market is Google BigQuery because it provides both the capabilities if you want to insert the batch data and the streaming data and secondly if you want to perform machine learning directly using SQL query generally when we want to train any model we have to use language called as Python and then use some kind of 
packages or the frameworks such as tensorflow pytorch but in this case you can directly use sql to train your machine learning models and then directly start getting the prediction you don't have to worry about writing code again and then you know deploying the model you can directly do that onto bigquery so this is everything about the bigquery in the summary so if you have worked with the services such as kafka and if you want to design a pipeline that can easily handle the real-time data then you can use services such as PubSub. PubSub is basically called as a publisher and a subscriber. So in the real-time streaming scenario, we have two things. One is the publisher or the producer which can produce the data. So in this case, it can be any server, RDBMS, sensor data or anything that produces the data or generates the data and push that data onto streaming platform. And on the other hand, you have subscriber or called as a consumer which can consume the data. So there can be multiple publishers and multiple subscribers who can subscribe to this data and use that data for some kind of processing or analytics so this is the overall summary of the pubsub then we have the apache beam apache beam is a batch and stream data processing unified programming model it offers many apis for interacting with the various data sources and processing data using various backends such as spark or data flow as a result data may be stored elsewhere and computation can be performed on its serverless manner on a specific backend so in order to write all of those transformation or build a data pipeline we have this kind of framework called as a apache beam so the extraction transformation and the loading part that you want to do in your data pipeline you can easily do that using apache beam so as you can see it over here you can easily install apache beam uh, just using pip install apache beam and then you can start writing the code to do the pc transformation so it has its own function and way of writing it so you can learn more about it by reading the documentation google cloud data flow is a cloud-based data processing service that can handle batch and real-time streaming data it allows users to build processing pipeline for integration preparing analyzing massive data set which is typical big data processing so generally when you want to design the pipeline it basically goes like this you have the pops up which pushes the data then you can use the google data flow to do all of this transformation all of the transformation that you write will be on apache beam that will be deployed on google data flow so the basic pipeline goes like this we have some data coming from some source and apache beam will be deployed on google data flow this will create some kind of the pipeline environment and then we can store that data onto bigquery or google cloud storage as required so this is what the basic pipeline looks like now if you want to understand the detail and the get the hands-on experience to do this project you can go to the project pro we have everything available you have the project details you will get the guided video for each and everything like how to create this apache beam pipeline how to run the pipeline store that onto bigquery and run some analysis you will also get all of these things such as you can you can download the data you can download the solution methodologies you will get access to all of the code and the ppd so uh, if you are someone who wants to learn how to do data engineering on google cloud platform or create the data pipeline on gcp you can go to projectpro.io subscribe to this project and start working on it i hope you found this video helpful if you did then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the project pro channel for more